everyone welcome back <laughs> or if you're new here welcome my name is Amy and today's video is a lipathon update I know I missed the last one um, as you know probably by now with all my updates coming out now <laughs> um, it's like you get none of me and then you get a lot of me um, <laughs> I wasn't feeling well so I wasn't doing any updates in August and then September kind of got that way. We're now at the end of September. Today's a good day so I am batch filming so be used to this look. <laughs> um, yes, by the way, I am wearing my Dolly. Dolly Parton, baby. <laughs> um, so I have a lot of caffeine on board so uh, yeah, I'm a little hyper. It's getting me through, man. It's getting me through. Okay, so let's see here. I have only one that will be staying. The rest is going and somehow I ended up with seven products when I'm only supposed to have six, but that's okay. Um, I know I had like the, the stupid lip liner I still can't get open and I even had my dad and he couldn't get it open. So we're just gonna put that away over here and someday maybe we'll get to open it, but it's not gonna be in this project anymore. It's leaving. Uh, the other one that was in here from last time was the Pat McGrath Velveeta, Velvada, Velvaya. I don't think it's Velveeta. That's cheese. I can't read it completely, but Valietta or something like that. As you know, it looks like that. And it was this color. This looks perfect, right? Um, but when I put it on my lips, it is very concealer lips. So, like, I could do it right now. I usually just tap a little bit in the middle and then put it together with whatever else I'm wearing and that's how I got my uses. Uh, what did I put here? I didn't put anything. Yeah, I put that I I over I put over other lip products to get uses on it. It's a nice formula. I have no no problem with the lipstick other than the fact it's just too light for me, but I can still get use out of it. Um, so I did finally get my five uses on this, so it gets to go back into the collection. All right, so what we brought in for the new products, we put, I bring in, oh my gosh, let me, let me explain everything. Um, Lipathon was created by myself and Erica Ashley. We both have massive collections of lipstick. Like, there's no need to have this much lipstick. Um, we are bringing three new, three old. I'm trying to do three new, uh, two old. Well, they're, they're all old. The three are old, but one's going to be a mini. I have a whole bag of mini lipsticks too. So I'm bringing in two from my all lipsticks. And then I have my bag that's minis. They're that old. So I bring in those. If one of them isn't a lip gloss, I will pull from my lip gloss. I'm kind of thinking of maybe sticking with seven instead of six. We'll see what I pull and we'll go from there. Because I would just like to have a lip gloss as well or a lip oil, something like that in, in here at all times as well. Um, so we have to use five uses before we can roll it out. If it ends up being uh, expired, you don't need to do your uses. Throw that crap away. Um, you can pull another if you want, or you can just wait till your next update. It's up to you. We have guidelines, not really rules for this. Um, what else? I think that's everything. If not, if I missed anything, it's down below. We do have two lovely ladies who have joined us in this project. Maddie Lou. Oh, how I adore her. I love you. I do. You make me giggle. <laughs> And I love that you and I have the same kind of sense of humor, so it's good times every time I get to talk to her. Uh, she has joined the, the project because she too has realized she has way too many lipsticks. So she's, um, she's choosing hers just like uh, Erica Ashley is. I'm doing mine by random, by going into a bag, randomly pulling one out, and that's what I'm going to have to work on. We also have a, a new one who joined us. Uh, her name's Patricia. She's at Finding My Tiara. I love the name of her channel. <laughs> she does great um, 
she has I'm like she has great content like it's not just panning she also has like a lot of get ready with me's which i'm a huge fan of get ready with me's if you have a channel and i have not found it yet and you do get ready with me's please let me know because i love watching them i like to get to know people and i also love to watch people do their makeup because i find it so relaxing and soothing and comfy so if you have a channel and you've never seen me comment on your channel and you have get ready with me's let the girl know because I will be right over. Um, she also does, uh, crap, I'm forgetting. She does like the empties and like all the stuff we love about the makeup community. She's a lot of fun. Uh, unlike me, she makes shorter videos. So if you like to watch videos that are not 10 minutes past 10 minutes, she's your lady um she's very she seems to be very sweet very kind and i'm new to her channel uh, i found her two three months ago and i've enjoyed watching her just starting to get her her feet planted in the the panning community so if you need someone new to watch definitely go check her out um I feel like I didn't say much about Maddie. I'm sorry. I talked about her last time. Maddie, I love you. She does all panning uh, videos and sometimes she'll do uh, get ready with me's or um, collabs. So if she's done pan uh, two collabs with me, we did the Alice in Wonderland collab and then when she's done, I think you've done, have you done a bingo with us? I'm pretty sure you have. If you haven't, you need to join. <laughs> this is me telling you, Maddie gotta join a bingo <laughs> I play I play all right let's get back to the update because this is already getting long see you, you can't get a short video with me um, uh, my first one I pulled for the new products was the Lux lip oil from ColourPop I was hoping this would have more of an orange tint when it was on my lips but really didn't but I love me some ColourPop lip oils. They are my favorite, actually. So if you're looking for a good lip oil, ColourPop's good, man. They're nice. I've used that six times, actually. Probably more than that because I reapply. By the way, I put all of my lipsticks in this little bag. It goes on my desk at work. And I work from home. So I just put one on, let it fade away. Let me get to know what, what it feels like on my lips, if I like the color. All of that. And I... I go by day's use, not how many times I apply. So I have used that six days, but I've probably done it way more than that. Um, that's the same for all of these. I go by day. Uh, the other new one we brought in was Give Beauty Screen My Calls. This is her. I love her packaging. And this is basically, I found out that this is my lips exact. You couldn't even tell I was wearing it. Apparently that's the color of my lips. Um, it, it, the first time I used it, I was like, wow, this is kind of like really matte. But then the next couple times I used it, it wasn't as matte. So I think the first time it was just a little dry. But it, it's, it's comfortable, but it is a matte. So um, I think I probably will stick to her, I think they're called Shine Ana Anaheim. Anaheim shine or something like that I'll stick to those more but it is comfortable enough for me to wear it um, I did end up putting a gloss on it or a lip oil after a little bit because I don't like my lips feeling dry um, I got all five uses for that one now this one that came in that was new I have not got all five uses uh, I have found that I absolutely love it this is the Mac and Whitney Houston collab and this one is in nippy mood nude mood nude and I'm wearing it right now I absolutely love this this just reminds me of my 90s lipstick that I used to wear back in the day um it's comfortable I do end up putting on a lip oil or a lip gloss after a little bit of wearing it like right now I feel like I need to put some lip something on so let's put a little bit of this on because my lips are feeling dry and i have older dried up lips better so 
This will be staying in because I've only used it four times. I refuse to put this in my bag to just throw throw on and not be seen because <laughs> I love it. So um, once I do get my uses, this is staying in my little, like you'll see there's very little in here. My little lipstick tray that are my favorite lipsticks. Um, some of those are for projects, but that's going to be a, a, a staying out on my desk lipstick. It is a winner. And you know what's annoying is that it's a collab, so it's not going to be around permanently. So now I'm going to find this color in a MAC lipstick. That's not the Whitney one. Whenever I run out of that. But let's face it, it's probably going to be like three, four years from now. Or longer. <laughs> okay, so that was that. And then we had the, the Phoebe I Heart Revolution lip pencil that I cannot open. So that is now just out of the project. Now we've got our old lipsticks. This is from Complex and this is a Pout Clout lipstick called Own It. This is the components. It is a magnetic. I love those. I just love it. Um, and this is the color. I really like this. It's, I put it feels really nice. Um, and I did like the color. So that's that there. It's very like creamy. It was nice and it smells delish. So I did get all five uses for that. Loved it. Really nice. Um, the next one is from Context. It's called Tears Are Falling. This is the component. Um, definitely one I got from a subscription box. This looks really dark, but I mixed it with that um, Pat McGrath. So I end up liking the color. This though is so dry. When you're putting it on, it's tugs at the lips. So I'm on the fence if I'm going to keep it or not. I'm like, nobody in my family is going to want it. Nobody in my family does matte lipsticks. So I don't know. Do I just keep it in my collection and just mix it with other things? Or do I just toss it? Unless anybody out there actually is willing to use lipsticks that have been used by someone else. I don't know. But um, it's too matte for me. And I mean, I can wear it. I, I made it work, but I didn't enjoy it. I put love the color, but way too matte. <laughs> That's all my notes. We already talked about the Pat McGrath. So the last thing is um, the gloss, but it was also a mini. So I, I didn't have to. And then I had this. So I didn't have to pull from my gloss bag. Uh, this is from the, I, I think their name is Make, M-A-K-E um, brand, and it's a lip gloss, and it's called Avalon. Um, I already knew I'd love this. Actually, this is, I don't know if you can tell, but this is all that's left. This right here. I should probably keep it out and just finish it, right? I think I will. Um, this, this used to live in my purse before COVID. It's gotten very gloopy. It wasn't gloopy before, but it's gotten very gloopy. Um, but it still has, has that minty scent. So I'm going to put that right there and I'm going to finish that sucker. So that's the gloss. It's a very thick gloss. Not what I'm used to anymore. Very opaque. But, um, like I said, it used to be a favorite. So I definitely can, can get it done. It's almost gone. So, um, that was all the ones we had in. So we get to pull two new ones and then three old. I'm going to go from... Go to the new ones first, randomize those from the bag, then we're going to grab uh, the old bag and grab two of those. If one of those is not a, a mini or a gloss, I will pull from one of those bags. All right, so let me get all of these off so I don't get it all over the place. Some of those stain. All right, this is the new bag, and there are some newer items in here from recent purchases. I haven't done a haul, not going to do a haul. I didn't buy that much during my little hiatus. Um, I actually just didn't care to shop for much of anything other than books. Um, but, yeah, so there's not that much that I brought in, so I didn't do a haul. And I just didn't have the energy to do it. All right, this is all of my new so we're gonna be here for probably years going through this project let's see 
One, two. Oh, exciting. Well, we got a gloss, so we don't have to worry about pulling from the gloss thing. So I will pull two from the other one. So we've got the Patrick Ta um, lip gloss in, where's my, where's my magnifying glass? I finally bought one. I saw Shelly and Kim use it, so I got me one. It, it's in She's Expansive. She's Expansive. So, we've got that. It looks very glittery. I'm sure you've all seen that. I ended up getting this in a boxy, and then I accidentally bought it, too, when it was on sale. I don't know why I'm swatching a, a, a basic um, clear gloss, but it, it, it's on there. <laughs> Let's move all the ones from the old... And then I pulled out my um, Glam Like Barbie. How cute is this? That's just my last, it was in my last haul that I did post. Um, she doesn't have a name. Uh-oh. Well, they did have names, but it was only on the box, and I didn't keep the box. You guys see our Barbie girl. She's, can you see her in the lipstick? This looks like another 90s. Amy lip. Actually, that looks exactly like that context. Let's see. Put this side. Oh no. Context is actually pinker. What was it that I had that looked just like that? Let's see. But this one? Nope, that's pink too. I'm confused. I'm pairs like my shells. But anyways, um, it, here. Let me move. That is the Barbie shade. We're going to say yellow Barbie. Because the other one's a blue packaging, I believe. So, that's my other new one. So, let's grab the old bag and see what we pull. I'm wondering if I... I do two old and then we'll grab one from the minis. This is even more full. Before I start shaking it, let's see if I can get you guys to see it. That's a lot. That's a lot. I'm gonna do this. Ow. I'm surprised I didn't break a nail. Alright. I'll grab two. One. Oh, is that? oh, I thought this had the cap off. Okay, we got two. Oh, we got a gloss. No, we're gonna send that one in. Ooh. I don't wanna break it. I don't wanna have two glosses. Another Pat McGrath. Alright, so those are the two. I'm going to go ahead and grab the minis. Yeah. There's our minis. That one I can shake. It's not so full. Let's see here. Ooh, it's a mini mini. <laughs> Alright. So, out of the old bag, we've got... What are you? A peel... Ultra Cream Lipstick. Looks like this. Cute little component. Does it have the name on it? It's very ugly writing, man. I'm like, you're putting gold on... Stripped. Um, gold on... Like, who can read that? It's gold on... Clear. But anyways, I have never used this. This is the color. This was another subscription box. Oh, it's very sheer. I'm building it up, building it up. It's an ugly swatch because I was building it up. Very, very creamy. Oh. That does not stay in very well. Hmm. But there's stripped. And then we got Pat McGrath. And this one is... Lavish. That's what it looks like. Never been used. The point of this project. Never been used. A very dark. It's very dark, but I can make that work, and it's the perfect time of year for it. And then our little mini is a um, Bobbi Brown 
don't know why I struggle. Crushed liquid lip. Ooh, it's a liquid lip. In I don't know if that's the name. Rouge and Le Rouge. Le Vige. I don't know. Um, but it's this itty bitty guy. I can tell you I've never used it because I don't do liquid lips. But we'll give it a try. I'm gonna put it up here. it's not dried down yet but that's that's the look but these are good for this time of year not bad um so yeah we are only gonna do actual six because i end up getting a gloss and a mini so that worked out perfectly uh don't forget we're still keeping whitney in here because i still have two uses on her and i'm not gonna just use them to use them it's gonna be for filming or when i leave the house because i like it <laughs> i like that one um all right so that was all. That was, that was pretty quick for me, right? Pretty quick. I mean, it is 22 minutes in. I said it was quick. Sassy says, no, mom, you weren't being quick. I don't know if you guys heard her meowing in the background. Um, anyways, thank you for stopping by. And if you'd like to join us in this project, just leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to add you to the list of people who are doing this project. Um, you'll find all the guidelines and the ladies who are doing this project in my description box. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I can use all the love. There's enough room in this world for me to give you all a big hug and welcome you all into this little community of ours. Um, thank you again, and I really do hope that I will see you in the next video. Bye!